guys and welcome back to my channel for the very last Sims 3 store set review. This one is going to be on the last venue of Amor, fitly named or namely fit or whatever, uh, appropriately named is really what I should be saying. Anyways guys, it is true this is the very last Sims 3 store set to be released. Um, I do believe the Sims 3 store will be up uh, for quite a while so you can still purchase goodies and things of that sort for your Sims 3 game because I know even though the Sims 4 is you know coming out and that's going to be like the newest thing to hit the streets um I'm going to be still playing the Sims 3 so it's good to know that I will still have access to some store content if I so choose to go ahead and purchase more or whatever the case may be so just throwing that out there um basically I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the review I have had a chance to play with this and um I, I feel like I could give you an appropriate review so we're gonna go ahead and do that today first I'm just gonna read a little bit of um, the good old description it reads long ago there was a beautiful city built on the sands of a charming ocean shore Sims often said it was built upon the love and passion of all those who resided there. If only they had built it on a stronger foundation than sand, since many of the city was swept away with the tides. So I'm not sure if this is supposed to be in a city in its entirety or some of it's missing, because that would explain why the buildings are so small, but we'll just get into that little tangent in a minute um let me go ahead and tell you the price points of this beast it's actually 19 us dollars or 1900 sim points however like always it is on sale um i'm a little late to redo the this i'm a little what so, try again jennifer i am a little late doing this review so it's actually on sale till the 10th which is tomorrow or it could be today it's currently august 9th of me filming this um for 17 us dollars so it actually comes with 30 brand new items including build buy objects a whole bunch of that stuff including the venue did i just say that and one premium content item yeah anywho so you get all of that for uh 19 dollars 19 bucks yeah i feel like Oh, I can't hold it back any longer. I feel like that's just too much damn money for what you get, man. Just run for the hills. Run for the hills. Just seriously, though. Run. Like, I'm not even joking. Just run. <laughs> that's my review, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night. See you later. No, I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, though. I feel like the price point for this is just way out of my comfort zone. Um, And uh, I'll be honest. You guys probably never really heard that from me before. But I'm going to continue on nonetheless. Actually, um, I do love the architecture. I think the building infrastructure is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm definitely getting a European, like Venice, Italy um, vibe. I could see this, you know, being in Monte Vista or maybe a, um, if you have the Traveler's Mod, you could create yourself your own little Italy. And you know what? You can pick apart this set and use a lot of the building objects for gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous homes galleries you know cafe shops whatever you really want to do you could definitely even you could just kind of gut this whole entire city i guess you could say and create it maybe like a shopping district or maybe um you know some historical place to visit when you're off on your vacations or just a whole bunch of things you could definitely do a lot with the venue but keyword you're gonna have to do a lot with the venue so more like key sentence so anyways the one thing i love the absolute most before I show you guys um, more of the inside and the interior of this place. Actually, is that is that? Oh, look at that! We have Connor Springston. Hold on a second. Hold the telephone. What is my boo doing here with his little Fonzie hair? Of course, he's in his workout attire. I don't know what he's doing, but he looks so damn cute. Um. There's one spot that's definitely my favorite in, in this whole entire gig here, but I'll show you that in just a second. This is just the uh, canals. Yep, pretty much. There's a lot of lush greenery. There's just a lot. You know, this is definitely perfect for picture taking and things. And I'm assuming these are supposed to be like little homes. And that is very, you know, Italian if you, um, if you, I guess, know that sort of 
thing. I oh, gosh, that sounds so silly. But yeah, it's a, a lot of the the older European cities and such were very like small and close knit and built like right on top of each other. So it's very, um, I think, very historically accurate. You know, I, I don't really know too much about um, all that, <laughs> to be honest, but I do know a little bit. And I think I think that's pretty accurate to say that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and show you guys my favorite, favorite part of um this whole entire place, and uh, I think it's called a cathedral. Um, it could even be called a chapel. It just kind of depends on what you would want to use this for. Hold on, guys. Um, I'm just going to show you guys the inside through the through the um, tab options here. So this is actually the front door, and I could foresee this being a um, a chapel to get married in. I could I could definitely see that being um, a good way to use this. So it looks like it was meant to be, and it's already set up for that. So I think we're getting there. Oh, we might be on. Um, oh, geez, Jennifer. I would suck as a tour guide. Like, let me let me just tell you. I would suck terribly. Okay, so I know what the problem is. I do, I do, I do. Ooh, love orange soda. Actually, yes, I really do. I could go for one of those right now. Um, I'll show you guys this way so you can really, 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 really get an idea of what it looks like inside. Ah, okay. I think we got it. How pretty is this? Like, seriously. Here we are from the top view here. All right, we're dropping in. And just look at how absolutely beautiful the inside of this chapel slash cathedral is. Like, really, you guys? I could see some... um candles on a stick those lamp singing majiggers i could definitely see this be played up as a freaking cathedral like i would have loved just to see this like done up as like a, a chapel or something to get married in but like i am in love with the interior of this building like just see how like detailed it is in the inside it's kind of crazy to me it's really 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 cool i love the lions i just i just love everything about it um and to be 100% honest, that's definitely my favorite um, favorite building in this place. But let me go ahead and finish up showing you guys around. First layer is nothing but a whole bunch of roofs. Then we have, um, once we start peeling back the layers, you can kind of see that the vast majority of these buildings don't really have any sort of sense and direction. They're just artificial homes um or you know just like i said replicating replicating an old city again doesn't really have a set theme whether it be italian or you know some sort of like french um french place or whatever you want to call it gosh i sound so stupid but whatever um but yeah it just doesn't really have any sort of sense of direction it's very very uh just kind of whatever but i, I sense european definitely i mean my my, my senses are tingling and, and then that's what i think but uh, again it could be whatever you want it to be i just think it is actually a really 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 beautiful venue um don't really like how it's mostly for show and has actually no function. Like I said again and again and again, that is my only um, sense of direction of what I would use this for. And then other than picture taking or storytelling or something like that. Um, because a lot of you do do a lot of storytelling. So this might be right up your alley and not so much mine. You know, everybody has a different use for what they would use this for. And not everybody's going to see the value in it um, the same way I do or don't or whoever else. But that's pretty much it. I mean, like, I could really get in there and show you guys each little thing. But um, it's pretty much all the same. They're like little individual homes that kind of connect to each other and create like this um, cityscape kind of. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the um, the venue. So, yep, that's just all I really have to show in that aspect. I definitely will see myself using the billabide mode objects um, for various, like, you know, things when I come to house building and such. And I think I've even used them already. But uh, the, main, the main start of the show here is definitely this little... I think it's called a gondola. I think it's called, I, I've, I've said it like 500 times. I'm like, gondola, gondola. I think it's called a gondola. And, uh, you know, basically you just, you hop on this beast with the, your, your loved one. What I do love, and I just recently found out, is you can actually change the direction of the track. So you get like a new ride every time you do it. I think there's like three variations. And uh, the ride's actually like three hours long. So it's, and it's slow. Let me just tell you, it's slow and long. So, Eh, 
But this is the premium content item that comes with this set. So your initial options are to go ahead and test the canal, give ride to, get ride with, and ride the gondola, like we said 500 times. There is a moodlet that comes with this and is called a wonderful ride. Ah, uh, what a wonderful ride. And it basically lasts two hours and you earn that moodlet upon completion of the entire ride, which is painful and I think you rightfully so earn this little moodlet and you get like a little 25 point boost. Yay. <laughs> what I do like that I haven't seen in um, previous sets where you needed another sim to, you know, interact with the premium content item or really get the full gist of things and you didn't have to be that sim is that there are sims that will give you your ride basically if you so choose like if you say you wanted to ride with your significant other you can do that and a random sim will be generated or whatever sim that is available on the lot will randomly go ahead and push you around the canal oh, what, a, what a great awesome new feature like finally i'm glad they finally got that in there the last leg last venue of the entire series of the sims 3 store sets like i'm really actually i do appreciate that i do like that i just feel like it's a little too late but nonetheless we're gonna go ahead and get a ride with titus grant our beautiful um demo sims here we have mr titus and then we have mrs alana de la vinci she's not italian or anything but she is just a beautiful gorgeous fresh faced sim i love her so let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up and see what happens right now <clears throat> our poor poor little lana she is just sweating up a storm but hopefully it'll go away i doubt it will but that's okay so right now we have um leslie rankin going ahead and giving us a ride on the gondola you're gonna automatically notice the sims pointing at different things it's definitely more of a sightseeing um adventure more than anything else um i don't know if mine's broken but my um sim tracker doesn't work on this specific ride but i think it's just broken in general so i don't think it has anything to do with it but it's kind of cute to see them getting pushed around and again this wouldn't be something i would put in my hometown this is definitely kind of like a tourist attraction if you uh Get what i'm trying to say here so here they go under the bridge i think we'll be able to see it here them coming and peeking around one thing i've had difficulty with and i don't know if it's just me or maybe it's even you guys too it's that the interactions are kind of kind of touchy like say i want to go ahead and i want to cuddle now i kid you not this interaction has not been working at all and i don't know if it's because they have to be at a straight away i don't know what exactly it is but the whole damn thing has to come to a stop and then they can cuddle and make out and do whatever. So I'm thinking maybe it is a straightaway that they come to. I honestly haven't a clue. But it is, it's nice. And I do think for picture taking, this is beautiful. It makes, it makes a good point. So I'm actually going to go ahead and click, um, you know, as if I was going to have them both stop riding the gondola. And see if that will induce the labor slash reaction, interaction. Nope, nope, still going. So yeah, that's what I don't know. I don't understand if it's just me, you guys, or what. And there's like a lot of twerking going on here. Twerking and jargon. I don't know. It's just kind of strange to me. Like the interactions aren't instantaneous. And I don't like that. I really don't like that at all. So at some point, they should start working. Oh, nope. Actually, he ended up getting booted out. So just so we're clear... Um, is he back at the boat now? <laughs> just so we are, oh, look, just so we're clear, that's the cuddling interaction, and you're not missing anything. It is pretty much what you would, uh, you would see on, on a couch or something. It's, it's very, um, similar to that. And I do know that your sim can actually woohoo as well in the gondola, but for some strange reason, it's not working for my sims at all. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. See how long that took? Like, I don't like that. I really don't like it, actually. Like, at all. It's kind of annoying. So, I don't know. We'll try this one more time. So, they're they're cuddling. And now they're going to go ahead and they're, they're going to make out. Now, I do have some Woohoo mods actually installed. So, that could be the exact reason why they're not able to Woohoo on, on the little boat here. 
But I do know like a little blanket comes and gets pulled over and then this guy just looks kind of disgusted. It's kind of cute. I've seen the photos of it. But uh, overall, um, I think that's pretty much all I have to show you since this is a love set. I would have loved to see some new things such as, you know, maybe a little love swing. That would be really cute. Where they could hug and kiss and make out and talk and swing, you know, to and from and more love thingies, more stuff to do. Or like even maybe another variation of this boat, like a swan. Like that would have been cool, you know, just more different love pertained items. Maybe some cute, you know, summer dresses for the girls, some nice outfits for the guys, things that you would maybe wear on a date, those kind of things. You know, some cute hairstyles or accessories. Nada. Whole lot of nada. All you got are these little, basically props and this boat that doesn't work. For me, it doesn't work. I don't know about for you. I'm going to give you an honest opinion and I'm probably, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. And if you disagree with me, that's totally okay. This is probably one of, if not one of the most if not the worst set I have purchased from the Sims 3 store. And I feel like there was just so much more potential that they could have done with this. And I honestly feel like maybe they were in a hurry to get the set out. Maybe they really did try. I really don't know. I know it takes a lot of work and effort. And I'm not trying to knock anybody down to the ground. But for me, this is definitely a miss. I would not purchase this again if it wasn't for review purposes. And I just don't like it. I really don't. I don't feel like it's worth the money. And I feel like it's kind of... um. We're not getting our true value here. You're spending $20. Like, for some people, that's like two hours or more of work. Yeah. Two hours or more of work. Like, if you make a minimum wage or whatever. So the value doesn't really equal equal enough to me. I just don't foresee it being worth the price. And it's kind of a shame. It kind of sucks. But it's just the way the cookie crumbles. So I really hope in The Sims 4 that The Sims um, 3 or Sims 4 store... Um, items are a little more valuable and worth their price because I don't mind spending $20 as long as I'm going to get what I what I paid for do you know what I mean like I don't know if you guys are with me or against me on that but I just don't feel foresee the the value in this set at all I really don't and I'm sorry to say it I was expecting a hell of a lot more and not only because it was the last set but because it was the last set but because it just in general that's such a hefty price tag and all you really get is a bunch of props and a boat that doesn't work so if you guys are having the same experience please let me know in the comments down below let me know your feedback of this set in general will you be picking this up will you be letting this one go as a hit or a miss is it gold let me know in the comments down below what you think about the last venue of amor or maybe what you would have loved to see incorporated in this set i totally would love to see your guys' feedback in the comments down below Again, like always, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.